Blessed Christmas to all of you. I'd like to just uh, reflect on what it means when we read in sacred scripture that God is with us. And that's uh, the line that has stuck out to me during this Christmas season, is that they will name the child Emmanuel, which means God is with us. That is really, I think, the essence of Christmas. That God himself was not content with saving us from afar. God was not content with coming down like some kind of superhero or, or just not getting his hands dirty. But God wanted to show his love to such an extent that he became one of us, to truly become with us. And when we talk about the fact that God is with us, I think we can sometimes have a mistaken understanding that God is with me. Of course, God is with me personally. He chooses, he calls me by name. He looks upon me. He's not indifferent to me and to my struggles. But I would say even more importantly, God is with us as a people. And who is that people that God chooses to be with? Well, he's here for all of humanity, but most particularly, he is with us who are the church. When he comes to the earth, it is so that he can create this new people of his, the people of God, which will become so closely united to him that, that St. Paul will refer to us as the mystical body of Christ. Christ is not content with simply being a distant God. He wants to live in intimacy with us. He wants to live with us. He wants to live inside of our hearts and us living in him in the life of grace. And all of this begins when the angel Gabriel appears to the Blessed Virgin and he chooses to become incarnate in her and then nine months later to be born as one of us. So have a blessed Christmas, all of you. Uh, you are certainly in my prayers. And let's continue to marvel at the intimacy of this God who chooses us. He says, I want to be with you. I want to be one of you. I'm not indifferent to you but I want to share in your life so that you can also share in my own. God bless you all.